What's up guys? So we're gonna do our shed highlight video. Basically just showing off all of our biggest sheds and everything that we've picked up over the past years. And so we have a whole bunch laying here, but first off we'll start the video with showing a bunch of the pickups and everything, all the pickups that we have on video. So some of the sheds that we have saved here are not on video. So we'll start the video off with that and then we'll come back and we'll give you a close up look at all of our biggest stuff. So hope you enjoy. About stepped on it from around this bush here at this big nice brown elk shed seconds broke right there but it's a nice shed biggest brown I think let's, get it, let's flip it over it's a nice bone that's a seven that's a nice shed Heavy. Is it? <laughs> yeah, that's a good shed. Sweet. <laughs> awesome, on the board, finally. <laughs> Alright guys, just right down here. Looks like a good freaking horn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy crap, that's an awesome freaking horn. Freaking good looking horn. Thing's heavy. Holy crap. Yeah. It's the first brownie I've picked up in a while. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That big old base. Might be the same, same ball. Huh? It's a different ball. Wow. It's freaking awesome. I think it's pretty heavy. Not very big. Got a big old base on it. It's still freaking bloody. Heck yeah. Still bloody. It's not a good base. It's not a nice six point. Right there. I think this is the other side of the first one. I think it looks big. Got big old fronts. Broken forth. Get some pictures real quick. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. It's the other side to the first one. Nice shed. It's a good horn. Dang. Dang, that's a big buck. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the bull I was after too. I know exactly what bull this is. I cannot believe that this is the this is the horn I wanted to pick up in here today. bigger than I thought and this thing is heavier than I thought it would be too.
walking down this little draw. Fish is right up there. Looks like a pretty nice horn. Oh crap. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a sweet bone. Look at that. Nice awesome base. Shines down. Heck yeah. 2022, it's brown, baby. Oh yeah. That's a sweet horn. It's pretty heavy too, pretty dense. Heck yeah. It's a great way to start the year off. Alright guys, I'm getting too ahead of myself. I literally, I just set the horn back exactly where it was. I picked it up and I walked right here and I was just looking around and I looked down and there's this other side. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, heck yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a sweet bowl. Heck yeah. Got all the blood on the base. Boom. That's awesome. That's a sweet bowl. Not the biggest. That's pretty early for, I guess it doesn't matter how big they are when they want to shed, but it's a sweet bowl. It's got good mass. Big old bloody base. Heck yeah. Look at this one. Not a bad bull. That's awesome. Bloody bases. We got our first brown. It's my first shed of 2022. It looks like a pretty nice brown elk corn, so let's go over there and go pick it up. To my right, boom, right there, fresh brown. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped, guys. I've been waiting for that. No bad shed. I gotta pick this, set this down and pick this up. I just shut the video off. I was gonna set this down and pick it up. This other side's right here, guys. Look, Look at that right there. Yeah, baby! Pick them both up, put them together. This one's definitely a stronger side. Check it out, let's spot it. Look at G1 on this thing. Dang! They've got a longer beam. Small turns on them, but look at the jumbo G1 on that bad boy. Oh, I barely get my fingers around that. Dang. Sweet base. Tiny bit of blood still on there. Oh. Dang, guys. This thing is heavy. He loses his mass up here. It's really skinny back here, but down here, I don't know if you can see that. Dang. Oh. He is heavy. Look at that bull. He's a sweet bull. Look at the front on this thing. Dang. 
These things gotta be probably close to 12 pounds, I'll bet. Let's see if I can show you guys. Look at the burrs. These things are big. The size of that right there. We got a brownie right here. I, I don't know how I didn't see it before. I came from right here and I was standing, standing right here, glassing over into this stuff. And then as soon as I turned, I looked, took a couple steps and boom, baby. Brownie. He looks freaking heavy too. Oh my gosh. Oh, baby. That's a good horn right there. That's his stud. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh. I so hope his other side's right here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> it's a stud. That's a big bone right there. That's a good bowl. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Look at that beam. It just drops down. Big old royal. Everything's freaking good. It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. He's got good mass, but it's just not very dense. But look at that back end. Bigger than it looks. Big old back end. Front. Big old base. Good mass. Good horn. That's four point. That thing is gnarly. So much freaking mass and that back end is sweet. That is just the This is the coolest set I've picked up like by far. Like the base still isn't all that big. Like it's got this gnarly stuff on there, but it's oh my hands around gosh. It. Just the how big around that is. Turn the back end more towards me. <laughs> He's awesome. Oh my. Holy hell. My gosh. Biggest freaking one I've ever found.
Look at this. picked up that other side, that giant one. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Look at the size of the mass on this thing. Oh my. Alright guys, welcome back. If you made it this far through the video, thank you. Hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. But anyways, this is the first shed. I picked this up quite a while ago. It's big, four point typical, but not very wide. Really willow horn. Just a good looking buck, but never matched it up. So that's my first one. And then, this is the biggest set I've picked up. This went around 205. Yes, I tried to color it myself. It didn't work very good. <laughs> but just a cool looking buck. It's got a lot of character. Good genetics. So happy with that one except for the color. This is just a big old three point. Decided to keep. Don't find many three points that are this big. So pretty cool buck. So that was in the keeper pile. So, this is my biggest set of elk sheds. Picked these up three or four years ago. Just a really solid bull. Went around 355. 20 inch thirds, 19 and 20 inch first and seconds. Just a really big bull. Got lucky and picked them up. He was a couple hundred yards apart each side, so pretty lucky that way. But I'm hoping this year we can find one a little bit bigger. This antler, I picked it up when I was probably 15. He was just a wee lad then. I was young. <laughs> Little guy. We just went on a family four-wheeler ride and this just happened to be laying off the side of the road where we parked and I was the first one to see it. Really crazy looking bull. Really gnarly. But it's the coolest looking shed I've found ever found so and I'll always have it. Picked up this shed a while ago, but really heavy, big old burr. Size of the bigger than the pop can. So, I wish it wasn't broke. yeah, if it wasn't broke, it would have been cool. We actually seen this deer still packing when I picked this up. So, hopefully, someday he's still his set's still laying out there and we can go find him again. All right guys, my turn to show off some cool stuff now. So here's a cool buck that our dad and our uncle Daryl actually picked up quite a while ago. Um, they actually picked up the year of sheds before this one as well during the deer hunt. So and then a couple months later, they actually ended up picking up this set. We don't have the other sets at our uncle Daryl's house, but um, it's just a cool buck, a couple extras. Didn't quite break the 200 inch mark. He's about like 196. Um, but still just an awesome buck. Never did see him during the hunts or anything, which was very unfortunate. Would have loved to see this deer on the hoof, but that was a long time ago. So there's that. And then here is my biggest typical buck sheds that I've ever picked up. Just pretty much an absolute dream of a typical um, 
found them both about 200 yards apart and he's about 185 ish even with this small eye guard over here and this little chip point right there and uh, still about 185 buck and everything that I would dream of shooting on the rifle deer hunt or with a bow um, just a beautiful typical typical buck so so here is another big elk shed that our dad actually picked up quite a few years ago uh, he has the mass and the, the back end and everything this third got a good third he's really heavy you see the mass here he's got lots of mass just the only thing is his front end kind of dies and so he doesn't score quite as high as you would think just because of that but still just an awesome bowl one for the keeper pile still all right guys here's the big boys so here's my biggest set of mule deer sheds that I've ever picked up this is an absolute monster deer crazy mass like if you see how much mass there is right there look at this side right here can't even not even close to getting my fingers around. There's just so much mass on him. Big ol' eye guards, extras, drop tine. Man, everything anybody would dream of in a, in a mule deer. So, but he's a little over 230 inches as he sits right here. He's about 30, 36 inches wide and almost about 50 inches of mass total and so he does have a big break right there that is not included in the score so would have been pretty significant in line right there and so we figured he'd have been really close to about 240 inches if he wasn't broke so just once in a lifetime find you know hopefully we would all hope to hopefully have another chance to pick up another giant set of deer sheds like this but really highly unlikely so just really grateful that I was able to be lucky enough to find something like this all right we got two more sets um, way to come back to our house for these ones because these ones are over here but we got probably my favorite set that I've ever picked up is this one right here Oh man, this bull, one of my favorite bulls that I've ever seen or picked up for sure. Um, not the biggest bull on the mountain, but I don't know if you can tell just how much mass he has. Like look how heavy that is. Like so much character on him. Short time length, but a little extra point coming off right there but just a super, super cool bowl. And I was very happy to pick this thing up. Here's a size reference for you guys. So this shed right here is my biggest shed that I've ever found right here. Like a 360 type bowl. Here's this other shed next to it, but they weigh the same. This one right here weighs 13 and a half pounds and this one weighs 13 and a half pounds. So that just shows you how dense and how much mass this horn has right here. So, but just like, see if I try and put my hand around right there. That's how massive it is right there. So heavy. And this smaller side right here, this this big five point side, um, still I think was a little over ten pounds. It's just really dense, massive horn. I love that set right there. So this next set <clears throat> is the set that I picked up last year side-by-side -side set and 
This is my biggest set that I've ever found. So look at those G1s on that. This left side over here is 20 inches and this right side is 22 inches. And I don't know if you can tell how big around they are, but I can barely get my fingers around those because they're so, just so thick. He's got the longest main beam that I've ever picked up. It was a little over 56 inches on the main beam on this side. I can't remember this side was about 54, if I remember right. It's a little bit shorter, but still just a sweet bowl. Not a giant, but just a sweet bowl. It's about three, 330 inches, I think. But just an awesome, awesome bowl that I love to pick up. Still pretty heavy too, I think this side this side was about 12 pounds. I don't know if you can see the mass on this thing here too. My hand's not even close. Getting around, big old base. So yeah, like I said, about a 12 pound horn. A Little over 56 inch beam on this side. Just a really cool bull. Um, Bubble was actually scouting down in the same area a couple weeks ago. And he said that he's seen this bull again, almost in the exact same spot. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when shed hunting opens up here in Utah, we can go back and hopefully, I'd love to pick up the set again this year. That would be awesome, have two sets off this bull. But uh, yeah, that's all of like our biggest sets that we have and sheds that we've picked up over the last years. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. We still have lots of videos that we got coming out this year. Like I said, shed hunting hasn't even opened up for 2023 yet. So, unless you go out of state, obviously, to somewhere that's open. So, just make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the shed action that's coming up once the season opens. So, thanks for watching.